All right, so uh, we're getting ready to move out the midsection of AOPS Ship 1. Uh, there's currently 124 axle lines of SPMT transporters underneath of it, and in the next few minutes, we'll be ready to bring it out of the Ultra Hall. So you all saw, as you drove it, drove in today, that last night we moved the center section of Harry DeWolf outside. It's 38 meters long, and 19 meters in beam. We're going to have a lot of celebrations, but there's something very special about this one. This marks the, the, the start, the first big move of units outside and sharing with the public on what's been going on here. So this is a very special event. As they are rolling out the future fleet of the Royal Canadian Navy, all this time Kevin been saying rolling out the future fleet, I didn't know it was quite literally rolling out the future fleet. We actually take the SPMTs and drive the ship out onto a barge and sink the barge. Move the barge out of the way and then uh, and then obviously the ship is afloat at that time. Yeah. I just was a part of moving this large ship, the first piece of many for Irving equipment. So the, the trailer has its own uh, hydraulic system for leveling and, and lowering and steering and stuff. They're made for moving big things. I got my first taste of it in Alberta working for another company out there in the oil industry. Fazoli Canada and Irving equipment are sharing uh, personnel and equipment, especially the SPMTs, uh, as well as Irving equipment is uh, providing to us uh, crane. The two companies have been working together in an amazing way in these uh, first two weeks uh, here in uh, Halifax. We have here uh, 76 uh, access lines uh, as Fajoli Canada. A contract like this for Irving Equipment is a very big, uh, a big story for us. It allowed us to grow our fleet, which opens new doors to chase other projects. So this is really kind of the, the, uh, the cornerstone for us. If we can have success here, it allows us and opens up doors to have success in many other places.